it's Jenny B from VitalityByJenny.com and today I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I've been eating on the 30 day raw food challenge because I know that it's kind of hard to come up with ideas on what it is that you could be eating other than just simply you know peeling a banana and eating it or eating a salad that kind of a stuff so uh, I was going to give you a couple of days here I don't I didn't write everything down so I don't have it exactly, but I take pictures of most everything, so I should be able to remember most of what I have been eating the last couple days. So every morning, I think, yeah, every morning on the challenge I have had the same smoothie, which is um, about five fresh bananas, five or six, and then three frozen bananas with a scoop of this chocolate flavored um, raw meal powder. And um, <laughs> it's not, I don't use the raw meal for anything except for flavoring. And it's, I know it's a little silly because you'd think that I would just use some chocolate, some cacao powder. But when I use just straight cacao in my smoothies, it tends to hurt my throat. And I think it's just because it's so strong. And so in the raw meal, I think it's just not as much cacao, but it has other things in it other, like from sprouts and other good foods and I love the way it tastes so <laughs> it's like a mellow chocolate flavor and um, I just really love it so I've been using that every morning so I've had the same smoothie every day so the first day after that smoothie I for lunch I ended up making a large juice and it had several apples lemon celery and kale in it and then we followed that juice with a blueberry smoothie bowl. And so I made a really thick blueberry smoothie with just bananas and blueberry, put it in a bowl, and then we topped it. It looks like I put um, bananas, some sprouted buckwheat, and coconut on the top of it. And then that afternoon I had another snack, of, uh, just a little plate of one pear, I had several dates and a little handful of blackberries and I made myself some hot tea. And then for dinner I had a my other favorite smoothie, the um, pineapple smoothie. So I just had several bananas, I, I honestly don't remember exactly how many, but um, it was probably five or six bananas or more and then a cup and a half of frozen pineapple and a little bit of coconut flavoring with water. And I just blended that up and that was my dinner. Okay, so then day two, I had that same chocolate smoothie in the morning. And then for lunch, I made the cereal that I showed you in the video, was it just my last video? I had that cereal for lunch. It was kind of a late lunch. And then I made a salad that evening with one head of romaine, a little bit of bell pepper, a little bit of tomato, and I made a dressing out of um, blending cashews, water, um, a little bit of onion powder, and nutritional yeast, and some herbamere. So I blended that all together with a little bit of lemon, and then um, that was, I used a little bit of it on my salad dress, as my salad dressing, and that was really good. And I'm actually, I have some of that dressing left over, and it's been a couple days now since that salad so I might have that salad again tonight <laughs> sounds good all right so then day three again same smoothie for breakfast and then I made some raw chocolates which I had one of um, in the morning sometime so I was craving some chocolate because I used to get um, there's these vegan chocolate chips that are like big chocolate chunks and I used to have one or two or a couple of those in the morning as my little treat. Well, I was kind of missing that, so I decided to make some raw chocolates, and I did. Um, but again, I just, I can't do cacao anymore. It's just, I don't know, it doesn't taste very good. It doesn't, I don't know, nothing about it is really that appealing. So um, it didn't, I mean, they're okay, <laughs> they'll do, but um, I only had one and I wasn't really feeling them that much, so I don't know how many of them I'm, I'll be eating this whole month. If any, but you know it was fun to fun to make some raw chocolate again. <laughs> and then for lunch, I tried something different. Um, that's one thing that I'm trying to do more of on this 30 day challenge. One thing that I know has um, kind of caused me some issues in the past is that I get in a rut. Can you tell? I mean, I've drank the same smoothie for more breakfast every morning on this challenge <laughs> so far. 
And uh, so I get in these ruts and I just want to eat the same thing over and over and over again. Well, then I start to feel like there's not that much to eat on this diet. And when in reality, there's so many choices. And it's only because I choose to keep my menu so limited. And so I'm really trying to put forth an effort to be more creative and to incorporate different foods than what I normally eat so that um, I can have a sense of variety more so than I'm used to. So anyway, I bought a large papaya um, the other day at the store and it seemed like it was ready so I cut into it and I made a papaya smoothie with half of this large papaya and it was a really big one. I don't, I don't know what kind it was, but it was like this big. And um, I had about a cup and a half of pineapple again and one banana and with some water. And I blended that up and that was very good. <laughs> Doug and I actually split that. So then I ended up making a cherry smoothie, a small cherry smoothie with just like three or four bananas and a cup of cherries and water and that was it. And I drank that as well for lunch. So then towards dinner time, Doug and I had decided that we, were, we wanted to go to the gym. And so we all got in the car and we took off and went to the gym. And our gym is actually about 15 or so minutes away from the home. And we realized on the way there that we were actually hungry. <laughs> and we hadn't brought anything to eat. And of course, you know, we weren't going to be eating anything there. And on top of that, we did a you know, pretty decent workout. So by the time we were done, we were very, very hungry. <laughs> very hungry and I know that um, on the, we were like talking, joking around about just being able to stop and go out to eat even though we both know that we weren't going to do that. We were still joking around about it and I could see a little look of sadness in Doug <laughs> when we were talking about that and so when we did finally make it home despite our hunger <laughs> um, I decided to make us something extra special so we had a banana sundae for dinner. All of us, all four of us had banana sundaes. So I just sliced up some bananas, put them in the bottom of the bowl, and then I made banana ice cream and put that all on top of the sliced bananas. And then I made a carob sauce out of just bananas and carob and blended that up, poured that over the top, and then we had some more buckwheat sprinkles and more a couple little coconut sprinkles on top of that. And so we had enormous banana sundaes for dinner last night and it was really good. So this morning again I had the same smoothie but I drank most of it after my workout so which was pretty late today. Um, I didn't get home from my workout until about 10.30 and so I drank a lot of the smoothie afterwards so I don't know if I'll be eating any lunch anytime soon. I may just end up waiting till dinner time and eat you know, quite a bit of fruit, and I think I'm going to eat grapes, I'm craving grapes today, so I'll probably have, you know, quite a few grapes, and then I'll make my salad afterwards and with my cashew dressing, and so I hope that that gives you guys some ideas on ways that you can include variety into your own raw food diet, or even your high raw diet. I even have plans on being even more creative, I have dishes in my mind that I just haven't taken the time to actually make. Like one today I know um, I wanted to make some baked apple slices. So I have a whole thing of apples in there that I'm going to slice up and put on a little bit of cinnamon and stick in the dehydrator until they're nice and warm and a little bit um, almost and they have like a, almost like a slight cooked texture to them and then we'll eat those as a nice snack whenever I get those done. And so you know things like that that Dehydrating food is obviously not the best option because you're taking the water out of the food. But if you're doing a whole raw challenge, a 100% raw challenge, and you're not feeling quite comfortable with just only the foods being fresh and that sort of a thing, if you're feeling a little bit like lacking, then these, this is a great way to just spruce it up a little bit, you know, make it a little bit more fun and help get you through your challenge. And so I am definitely being lenient on myself with eating different types of foods than, you know, what is on a strict 80-10-10 diet. Um, and I think that's fine. And I think it'll be a lot more fun this way. And uh, 
you know, I get to be a little bit more creative. So I can't wait till those are done, and I have several other ones that I, you know, I want to make too, but I'll fill you in on all of those as we go along, okay? So if you're joining me on this challenge, you just let me know if you have any questions, if you have any challenges yourself making it through the last couple of days. Post those all down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't started on the 30 day challenge already, then you can jump in whenever. It doesn't matter if I've already started or any of that. Just jump in and just go ahead and try give it a shot and see how it goes for you. And um, you know, see what kind of results that you get. If you're coming from something more of a standard American diet or you eat quite a lot of cooked and high, higher fat foods and you decide to do this 100% lower fat raw food challenge, you can expect to feel a lot more energetic, probably lose some weight and get more clear in your thinking and I always feel more motivated in my life to complete my goals, to take steps forward in different areas where I may have felt pretty complacent in before. And so these are all wonderful, wonderful results from simply changing, shifting the way that you eat a little bit. And so it's fun to play with it and see what the results are for you and see how motivated that makes you to make permanent changes in your life, in your diet. So anyway, I love you guys and I will see you guys very soon. All right, bye-bye.